I'm upset, everyone. I'm upset about words and I'm upset about lines of words, sentences, if you will. Every day I read magazines or newspapers or even corporate publications where words have been left by themselves, where lines of text have been left by themselves. Widowed or orphaned, as we say in typography. If you have seen a word left by itself at the end of a paragraph, or a line of text left by itself at the top of a column, or even worse still, the top of a page, what can you do about it as an individual? What can we do about it as typographers? We can fix them. We can use InDesign to not leave those poor words by themselves at the bottom of a paragraph, or the line of text at the top of a column by itself, languishing in no man's land. What does it mean? It's the end of a paragraph. No one knows what it means up there. Join it in with the whole paragraph, or at least a couple of lines. Don't leave those words orphaned at the bottom of a paragraph. Is it an orphan? Is it a widow? Who knows? Everyone tells me a different thing. I don't care. I just don't like to see them lonely. So I'm going to show you how to fix them up. And when your publication goes out, those poor words, those poor lines of words will be left destitute by themselves. Hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Creative Sweet TV. Fixing up widows and orphans in a flow of text has been something that designers and typographers have been trying to do for years and years and years. Um, it's a little bit different with InDesign, has been since um, the very first version of InDesign. A little bit of confusion, but hopefully I can clear up exactly what's going on and how you can go about fixing up widows and orphans. But to understand, uh, first of all, the best way to go about it in a standard InDesign document, you have to understand a little bit about the paragraph composer of InDesign. Let's take this very first paragraph uh, here in this flow of text and I'd like to point out something to you about it. We're going to go to the paragraph uh, control panel first, the paragraph panel first, and under the little pop-out menu here on the very right-hand side, there's a couple of things. The paragraph composer or the single line composer. What the paragraph composer does is has a look through the entire paragraph from hard return to hard return and tries to balance out the right hand side. You may actually find things like, and I'm just having a, having a quick look through here, words like perhaps adjust, which would probably almost fit up here, but gets turned over. Oh, here's one, on. So definitely the word on would fit on the, on the previous line. But InDesign, in all of its wisdom, has decided it looks better being turned over. Don't panic, it does do a very nice job of evening out these right hand sides there are ways around this okay the very simple one is to turn it off you never get the same nice looking result though let's go ahead and turn it off and you can see the paragraph composer is now switched off and it does it for the whole paragraph not just that line and well does it look better does it look worse i don't know i would actually think the best way to go about this is to leave it on and then if we need to fix things up later on, like widows and orphans, we certainly can. Let's take the last line on this page and I'll just scroll down here where you can see we have the word Photoshop Elements 8. We're actually up to 9 now, but let's say Photoshop Elements 8. We want 8, which I would call an orphan. You might call it a widow. A little bit of conjecture around that. Let's take this and we want to join it to there. Now what do we do? Do we turn this over by doing a soft return, which is shift return? We can certainly do that. But that would mean if we need to edit this text later on, the text reflows, then we're going to end up with a weird line break. And if there's any editing to be done later on, that's not the best way to go. The best way to go is to actually remove the space there. I'm going to go ahead and, and delete that space and then replace that space with a non-breaking space. So what you do is you come up to the type menu, okay, and scroll down to insert white space and a non 
braking space or Apple option X, Control Alt X, and it puts a space in there that's a non braking space. And if you go ahead and say show hidden characters, it's just a little, like a little carrot. Okay, now, <clears throat> excuse me, if we were to come back and do some editing now, that text is quite happy to flow along and the non-breaking space goes along with it. So you don't end up with ugly short lines uh, later on if there is more editing or sub-editing to be done. So hopefully that, that helps you uh, deal with those orphans, what I call orphans actually. Okay, we're going to scroll over to uh, the next page here where you can see um, another problem. And I would call this perhaps a widow. It's a line left by itself. This heading, okay, belongs to this part of this paragraph over here. We need to fix that up so that this stays with that, okay? Now, luckily enough, um, this paragraph here is is got a, a paragraph stop. And if we want to, we can apply this uh, what I'm just about to do to this paragraph style, although you don't need to, you can do it just to this one here. Here's what you do. Come to the paragraph controls. There's a little pop-out menu here, okay? And you can scroll down to keep options, okay? This is what the keep options are for. And so there's a little preview so we can see exactly what goes on. And I'll just move this box over here and perhaps we'll just zoom in just a little so you can have a good look at what goes on. Hopefully that's fine. Now, <clears throat> we want to say keep with next so that this paragraph, in this paragraph, keeps with the next line or lines of the following paragraph. So you can say keep with the next one line. I would say keep with the next two lines or three lines so that it turns over and joins on to the start of the next one. Now, that's only getting the second line joining over, so it's still running over. Maybe that's not the best bet. Let's turn that off. What I would think is say, keep lines together so that at the start of this paragraph, they're kept together and then keep with the next line. We'll turn that entire paragraph over. So, <clears throat> if it's a two-line headline, which it is, keep those together, and then keep it with the next one line of the following paragraph. And I tend to like to keep it with two so that we don't get another widow at the start, or sorry, we would call that a widow, at the start of a page perhaps, and then there you go. You can even do things in here like keep um, this heading, make sure that this paragraph starts at the top of a column, okay? So that we'd never get a subhead like this appearing halfway down a column. Maybe you just want small sections all the way through. Extremely useful, extremely powerful keep options. So there we've got non-breaking spaces and keep options. If you want to find them in the paragraph styles, the keep options in particular, just double click the paragraph style or create a paragraph style. Here are the keep options right here. We can do exactly the same thing. There we go. And then if we press OK, that's going to apply all the way through the document. OK, so remember, if you work along with the Paragraph Composer, you're going to get a much better result really quickly. Command Option or Apple Option X, tie them together, and then you'll get rid of widows. Keep options, you'll get rid of orphans or vice versa, whatever you like to call it. I think I've changed my mind twice during this tutorial. Um, there you go. Hopefully that's really useful. Don't forget, come and visit Creative Suite TV. This is where I've got all my tutorials all um, joined up into different sections. You can click on them and watch as many as you like for free. I'm Mike and we'll see you next time.